another No Moria Succession game. This is with the same group as the one from before, but this one is actually the softer, the softcore one, comparatively to the hardcore one that was Roy Boss Rise, which I still think I did fairly good in. This one, Chamomile County. You can probably tell the theme here. I mainly signed up for this one just to have fun decorating things and, you know, contribute a nice bit of decor to the fort. As you can see, there has already been quite a bit of decor gone, done. However, there are a few things that is making my OCD itch pretty badly, I'll be entirely honest. For one, all these doors don't match. For two, if you look here, there's a very interesting choice of rooms, if I do say so myself. They're not really squared out, they're just, like, I don't know, it doesn't feel like a full room, and for some reason there's a wall missing in between, like it's supposed to be a room of two partners. And then there's, you know, a single block in between the next pair of rooms. If I, were, if I was going to do it like this, I would just change a little bit, but I'm going to leave it as it is. But what makes my OCD is, itch is that, you know, there's one, there's one, there's one, and then there's suddenly two. I think I might dig into that slightly to build the next floor to build, put all of the workshops in a location. Because, as you can see, for some reason, I also, in this one, have the second the second spring of game time. How that managed to happen, I don't know. But I do. And the workshops are the one thing that has not been actually worked on. Funnily enough, not a whole lot has actually been done in fancifying the Great Hall. They have, however, used ceramic clay, which, unfortunately, Although it looks nice, apparently doesn't even have any worth. At least walls and stone floors have ten. I don't really get that. They should have at least the same amount. I think that might be a glitch more than anything. It's a nice great hall. I think it might it could help to be a little bit bigger, but I'd say that great hall is more or less already completed. Although I have all I have to do is just link up all of the tables and chairs. So that really isn't too bad. However, what else I need to do is start the workshop construction. Now, the difference between this one and the hardcore one is that the hardcore one has the more difficult enemies turned on like skeletons and zombies and beetles and all that stuff and I believe I might be wrong on this but I believe the goblins are in a weaker mode like they don't have as big of a increase to their strength as the hardcore one does however some people still have died as you can see over here and we're also apparently entirely out of food with how big of a wheat and strawberry farm we have i don't i don't really know it also looks like the surrounding area has already been picked clean it's really not too good so that means either those farms were just made or Something happened to the food. Is that floating? That is floating. But what I think I'll do is find an untapped area and instantly give a foraging order over there. Uh, the only problem is all of this stuff is so hilly, it's kind of difficult. So let's... Uh... Forage. Just all of the stuff right there because we need food wonderful start game and not have any food I'm going to be continuing this just with the 
blocks. And how many do we have? Two masons and two miners. Not too bad, if I just say so. Yeah, so what I think I will do is dig into here. And by the way, the stairs are in the middle of the hallway. It's kind of painful. Yes, I think I will just deconstruct these two things to put a stairs up that is not interfering with the rooms. It is just continuing on. Now, this reminds me... Uh, how, uh, how is the stone cutters looking? Basal, marble, lapis, and serpentine. Pretty much the same as the last one. Serpentine, lapis, marble, basalt. Someone actually did the reverse thing. I'm impressed. Pleasantly surprised, if you if you say if you will. If I English. Now I'm guessing the soldiers are off right now. Uh, apparently the soldiers are just doing things around the fort. Not sure how I feel about this. I believe it is the knifed grasses? Because me, I would very much appreciate it if... No, that's civilians. Uh, feared strokes. See, this is the only reason why I name my things, is so I can know what the hell I'm because chances are I'm going to forget otherwise. But look, they, they can just take those and replace. Which is nice. Now, as for building, let's do stairs up out of serpentine blocks just to match. And the workshop quarter will be up here. I figured, as it looks like we're building in the mountain itself, that it would be best to put the workshops in here as well, and leave this place much more open for larger farms and, you know, the tree farms and everything. But also, I just think that there is plenty of room here. In fact, this goes amazingly high. You could probably build into the wall here. And if I wasn't, a some, wasn't someone who automatically just stuffed everything into one small area, I would probably do that. But I'm going to try and do something different than the last one. The one that I did in the other one. I think I might do separated rooms entirely. Well, I think I might go with my standard build, but build them into here instead. I think that would, that would work nicely. Although, nah. I'm like, you yeah, know, although this is directly above the sleeping quarters, but... Oh well. Alright, first things first. Entrance and hallway. And the hallway will continue down this way. Now, here's how I normally did it one, two. Uh, that's a wall, so that has to be cancelled. One. That's a wall, that's a wall. Five by five, so it is three. And like so. And it is just a standard five by five, but I kind of give them their own little setup. For each one that needs a setup, it gets a setup. Unfortunately, we cannot put ones in the back, which is rather unfortunate. I would have very much appreciated that. And then another. And another. Let's see. Stone cutter, stone cutter, stone mason, stone mason. Question. Probably going to hurt. 
this is going to hurt quite a bit. But I'm going to lower all of this by one. Actually, what am I doing? I can't even get the, uh, I can't even get the doorways in there, the, the hallways in there, so I don't, I really don't have the ability to lower it by one. So never mind. Stone cutter, stone cutter, stone mason, stone mason. up. Terrain mine wall. And a stone carver. And then this is dragged down all the way down here. Okay. Now I could probably put a couple things on the end, which I might. I might put something a bit different over there. There's dirt over there, that's nice because it makes it quicker to mine. Now let's see what else. I think pulling this up and doing and I was going to pull this up all the way so I can see what I'm doing. Because I don't want to do it all the way to the edge. had a thought that's so crazy it just might work. I remember when I very briefly played Dwarf Fortress, I believe it was, where I put little inlets where there was statues and the like. So that would be the wall, so this would be 5x5 five five right here. Wait, no it wouldn't. <laughs> this is the only problem with changing your plan in the middle. There. So then a little inlet three. And then a five by five. Does it take up a bit more space? Yes it does. But I think it makes it looks a bit look a bit nicer. Plus we have all of this layer of mountain to slowly put these things in. So, let's see. One, two, three. And then continue the hallway. How many do we have? We shrunk it down to three. Let's do a five by five here. And continue the hallway. Then a little three by three for the well, three by four for the marker of the statues, and then now this is where it's going to get a little bit interesting because yes, I am going to place it right there. Uh, I was about to say I'm pressing my rotation button. What I want to do is remove. This ramp, this ramp, and this ramp. In doing this, this will prevent the enemy from using this. There will be a little area that sticks out right here. I'm going to expand the wall just a little bit. In fact, uh, fell these trees. You see, I've worked around stuff like this before, okay? going to expand this so there's a wall around here and then have a little balcony just looking over this area on the end. And I think that'll look fantastic. So stonemason, stonemason, stonecutter, stonecutter, and stone carver. Got it. Now the question is what to build the walls out of. I don't want to build them out of lapis. 
Uh, I think basalt looks too black. We've used a hell of a lot of serpentine everywhere, so I don't want to make the entire place look too samey, and marble looks too white. Did you do what I think you did? You did do what I think you did, because you suck. Can you dig directly beneath you? Okay. Hey! We apparently just invented a whole bunch of stuff. What I do want you guys to do, however, is... Build a wall out of dirt. Specifically dirt. Right... Here. And... Ag agriculture, fell trees, just... All the trees in that little nook. Because this is going to be a fun construction job. But I am just... Oh, they finished. Oh. I'm, like, I'm just going to let these guys finish over here. But they finished already. Now, here's the question. What's our population looking like? 17. How many... We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14... 15, 16, 17. So we actually have enough, so I don't... I don't incredibly need to worry. I'll probably do, like, this. But really, that'll probably be about it, because that'll probably be about how many gnomes that I get. So yeah, my area is going to be focused on this stuff. But I think... I think it will be out of basalt, but with a marble floor. So, let's start with that. Terrain. Replace floor. What would chiseled look like? Hmm. No, chiseled wouldn't look too bad. I think... I think chiseled, but then... What was it? Carved? Marble? In the doorways? Well, that is not a doorway. And right here. I gotta be very careful to note when they are doing that, because... It occurs to me, they can't build up... They can't do stuff up a ramp. Build terrain stairs up just out of dirt. I don't know. I really don't know why I placed it there. Because I also need to place dirt walls. Right here, I believe. The wall would expand to there. And then I want to place a dirt floor directly above it, and then I want to build a set of dirt stairs, so that way they can build up from it, because that is kind of important. Also, to re just remove these ramps, really no reason to have them. Cancel's job. Oh crap, I didn't... I didn't cancel that out. Well, poo. Terrain, replace floor. I think carved... Now let's do carve... Uh, you know what? Uh, uh, fine. Reasoning for carved serpentine is because that is where the storage in each of these areas is going to be. And carved serpentine right over this block. And then... We'll go with the chiseled marble on the rest of the floor. Because that is the work floor. S 
someone doesn't appear to be knowing what to do. They appear to have cancelled that job. Or, no, that, I already did that part. Okay. Now, I'd like to build a soil floor right here. That is so they can use the stairs to get up and finish that. And if I draw it like this, they won't get entirely confused. Because it is a very simple order. And then... You know what, let's just build... Some dirt stairs right here. So that we can dig a hole to get rid of this. So I feel like getting rid of that would be... Nice. But I like the idea of it kind of spilling out like this. And now, try and dig a hole right here to get rid of that, and deconstruct these stairs. And then I'll give the order to deconstruct the other one. There. And then there will just be a little balcony filling it out. Now, how I'm going to do the balcony, I haven't decided yet did decide on, however, is mining into here, so that way, we can get to the corners. Uh, you were quick, too quick. You can get to the rest of the corners because of how I set it up, so that's not a worry. What is a worry, however, is the parts that I removed that I didn't mean to. I'll leave that there, but that needs to be filled in because that is not being used for anything. The ambassador from Forest Loot. I did not actually look at the kingdom's diplomacy screen. Merchant city-state and a lumber camp this time. Lumber camp would be nice to make a lot of things out of wood. Perhaps I should have done the workshop area out of wood. However, we only have eight logs, so I lied. That would not be a good idea in any stretch of the imagination. Where were we? We were over here. Let's go back to where we were. Yes, I want to replace... Not the floor. Replace the wall with, I think, I don't want to do wood paneled, I don't want to do smooth, I think decorative would probably be the best, and you know what I'm going to do, just give a mass replace order and then cancel out the things that are in the middle. They will slowly replace those, and then I can fill in the areas in the back once they're finished. Now, as for the floor... Hmm. You know, I think a lapis floor would actually look pretty nice. Oh, hello. Uh, hello, people. Goblins. How many of you are there? There is a goblin and a goblin raider. Uh, what is our kingdom worth? Overview, our kingdom worth is only 22. And like I said, the goblins should have a reduced difficulty rating. But I didn't expect it to be this small. How did we lose two people? Well, the feared strokes can get right in there. Because they have swords. Oh, 
I have a sword and a hammer. And besides the commander, who does not have a hat, they are completely fully armored. And there's one goblin, and there's the other. I think the only people who did die probably died from being outside. It looks like they're even wearing bone shirts. If they're wearing bone shirts, chances are they might have been soldiers, which would probably make more sense. Now, how's it going? Tell you one thing, they're making things incredibly quickly. Like, amazingly quickly. Now, what I want here is smooth stone. I think smoothed, uh, it will be lapis to match the rest of the area. It'll be smoothed all the way over here. And then there will be a small fence. I'm going to try and ignore that tree. Yeah, I think a smooth lapis floor would be ornate enough to look nice, but not horrible enough to look crappy. So let's do a replace floor order with smooth lapis. And do it all the way down the middle. Speed it up. And then do carved. I just like to have carved under things because it looks it looks slotted. Like honestly, it looks kind of slotted in such a way that that it would make sense. And then I will just mine these walls, reasoning being to get behind. Because corner pieces are very, very important. Wouldn't know it by looking in some of these areas. Where was that at? Uh, where was it? Kinda... isn't in between. Like, I feel like they could probably see the dirt coming in from between the rock, from between the blocks. Right there. Wow, they really went through the, uh, serpentine pretty fast. That gives me a thought. Stocks? Uh, tell me. What do we have for stones? Oh, we have plenty. I'm like, uh, what are they doing? Apparently, they're doing everything. Uh, this is the butcher shop. Automatically butcher corpses. Apparently, the automatic butchery was not on. Okay, then. We have an immense amount of dirt. Getting a prospector up to start getting copper from those would be fantastic. In fact, does anybody have a kind of redundant job? Uh, what does the Forge Master do? Smelting, blacksmithing, metalworking. Um, you know what? I think I'm going to make the Forge Master do smelt- do working with prospecting, but they will only do prospecting if all other work for them has been completed. So, let's make a prospector. Uh, not a training ground. We apparently have some place, some things to make it with, so all we need is a serpentine chisel. Food stocks empty malige. My lord. I just thought, do we even have a well? That would be rather a nuisance if we didn't have a well. But stonemason. I said stonemason. A chisel. Serpentine. If you would please. Ah. 
agriculture, uh, forage, all of these trees, because they have all grown. A merchant from forest loot. Which kingdom is forest loot? I would guess the lumber camp, and I would apparently guess correctly. How nice. Yeah, if you see all the little red dots there, that means they have apples, so they can start foraging. But this will start to be better when the wheat farm starts to grow. I'll leave them when the strawberry farm starts to grow. I don't know what they put out here, but it used to be a farm, but we'll just forage it as it grows. Now, as for up here, and by that I mean down here, there we go. They are slowly but surely going to be doing that. And this is just the stonemasons area. Uh, let's... No, I want to go build... Decor... A2... Basalt. And I can just put that right there. Now, here's a thought. What am I going to put as the ceiling? And I think I want to just... You know what? I think I will. Dirt. Stairs right here. Does that work? Yes, it does. Actually, you know what? Let's put block basalt up there. Which, you know, we totally have enough basalt to do that, but... Those guys are going to just be never-ending working. Now, here's a question. Blacksmith. Uh, priority 5. I'm just checking to see if people have fiddled with the priorities. They have not. Now, is there... I believe there is a specific... Oh. I want to say they had prospecting. They don't. I'll just put prospecting and pottery, because I doubt the forge master had leatherworking and bone carving. What I'll do is put you as priority six, and dirt clump on repeat. Just use all of the dirt. will help immensely in getting slivers to make better armors. It's already the fourth day of spring. Yeah, we do seem to only have a small area of logs, which is rather problematic. My lord, the randomness of the beds. Oh yeah, this is a pine bed. Pine bed, pine bed, birch beds. That's the, the boot. But hey, I'm just here to decorate. I'm here to make an area that looks nice where everything will be stored and made. I think this is a nice use of everything that we have. Now let's see, mine the three there, and then over one, five by five. And then mine the three there, over one, five by five. I don't know what's going to go here because we're kind of nearly out of room and that is not enough for the wood. So crazy is my work. What if I do this? Right. Then I do this. And then I do that. Why? Well, I think that works grand. It does. It does. Actually, this can be the wood because I can put one, two, three. Five. Oh my god, it works perfectly. Ha ha! 
victory! Yes, this will be the wood area. However, I'm going to do the stone area first. I think that is a great use of the mountain. It might look a, look a bit excessive, which you may very well be right in that assumption, but, but, it also looks fantastic. That's my explanation and I'm sticking to it. Don't question it. Yeah, it might, it might be a little bit excessive in the work, working department, but it looks pretty cool. So, yeah. faster. Uh, however, the prospector is definitely going, and we're getting silly. You know, I just had a thought occur to me. The only way they can get the clay, the ceramic clay right here, is to have a prospector, because ceramic is made by silica. So, where is it? I have rightly no clue. It doesn't even look like it is anywhere. They might have deconstructed it for all I know. It might have been placed somewhere else and they never rebuilt it. Well, oh well. I do, however, want to dedicate a stockpile to that. So, designate a stockpile, let's say, right... Right here on the end. And I'll just name it... Slivers. Except with a capital, because I'm not at five. Goods. And... It's, uh, metal. I think silica, too, because that is technically slivers. And... Metal sliver. do is build storage crates. Now let's get four pine crates ordered. Wherever the wood woodsmen's would be. Four pine crates. Done. And let's cut down some trees. Cut down those two because they kind of bug me. Just sitting up on top of their high horse. Here's a question: Where is some more trees? I, mean, I see that they're planting some, but they haven't grown yet. So I would appreciate the ability to chop down more of them now instead of later. Let's just get all of these. Apparently the ambassador wasn't pleased with their room. I thought there was two rooms. Let's get those, and then those, and that. And then cancel the job of cutting the tree on the floating pillar. Here's a question, did I give an order to chop down any of those trees? I did not. Good. However, I did miss a couple trees. Now, wasn't there... Yeah, there was an... Uh, no, no, no. Well, kingdom, forest loot. Apparently the ambassador still needs to leave. However, I am going to call it a video here. So when we come back, the continuing of this place is going fantastically quick. Much faster than it actually went in the other area. Uh, Roybos Rise. This is going much faster than that, I think. Although it is already a fifth day of spring. Okay, maybe I take that back. But 
when we come back, more of making that, and I'll possibly get down here and mine these things out of the wall, and just generally expand the mining expeditions a bit. But that is for next time, so until then, see you later.